This method can help answer key questions in the drug screening field, such as elucidating the effect of small molecule inhibitors on very low concentrations for protein-protein interactions. The main advantage of this technique is that uh, it is calibration-free, it can be implemented in any confocal microscope, and utilizes very small amounts of uh, labeled proteins. The implications of this technique extend towards development of cancer drugs, small molecule inhibitors, and virus fusion inhibitors because it provides quantitative information on protein-protein interactions. Though this method can provide insight into protein interactions and aggregations in vitro, it can also be applied to other systems such as live cell protein dynamics and cell-cell interactions. To begin, transform P lyse S cells with a PET 22B vector containing monomerized human FKBP12 and N terminal HIS6 and M venous tags. After the cells have recovered from being incubated and heat shocked, plate them onto LB auger, supplemented with antibiotics. Transfer the transformed colonies into a 100 milliliter LB starter culture and grow for 16 to 20 hours at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking. Following incubation, dilute the dense starter culture 1 to 100 in LB medium in two 500 milliliter batches. Then, Grow for 2 to 3 hours to an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.6 to 0.8. After cooling the cultures on ice, induce protein production with 250 micromolar IPTG. Grow the cultures for 16 to 20 hours at 21 degrees Celsius and 200 RPM.